What's up everyone, this is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U, and today I wanted to show you all some of the uh, bits that I use, specifically the spade bits, or what we call in Texas, paddle bits. Um, these are for drilling holes through studs, so they have a uh, residential application, pretty much. Um, this kit that Bosch sells uh, has 12 bits in it, and they start out at quarter inch, they go all the way up to inch and a quarter. So um, I generally don't use the quarter inch or the three eighths very much. They're just too small. I mean, you know, if you're like a low voltage guy or you're running like telephone wire or something like that, you might want to use, but you might end up using those. Um, I generally use like the seven eighths and the three quarter and the five eighths the most. Um, I'll break out the inch and a quarter every once in a while. It depends if I'm trying to put a bunch of wires through something or if I'm drilling out studs to put conduit in. Um, but the majority of the time, I really stick to the three eight, uh, the five eighths, the three quarter, and the seven eighths, and the one inch too. Uh, if I'm dealing with MC, I like to do one inch. That way, I can actually get two pieces of MC in one hole. Uh, but these things are awesome. So if you guys use regular paddle bits, notice that uh, these have kind of a spiraled front end. Um, it just helps pull the bit through the material easier. Um, most of the other ones just have a spike on the tip, so they. They're not as efficient at actually pulling through the hole, which just helps drive through holes faster. So the uh, the other cool thing that I like about these is the shape of them. So they're spiraled, you know, they're, they're kind of wavy on both ends. So again, it's just a lot higher efficiency when it comes to removing material from a hole that you're trying to drill through. Um, instead of the material getting stuck down in there and the bit getting really, really hot and not getting through the hole very fast, these things get through the hole fast. So it's removing heat and extra material a lot quicker and a lot more efficiency, uh, efficiently. So regular paddle bits, uh, also when you hit nails with them, just like cheap paddle bits that you buy, uh, or spade bits, they, when you, if you hit a nail with them, it really, really screws the blade up very quickly. So you'll get a brand new set, you'll drill one hole, hit a nail, and that whole bit is pretty much fucked from there out. These, you're still gonna damage if you hit nails, um, but they're a little bit more forgiving, I feel like. Uh, we hit nails with them you know, frequently, just doing residential. Um, but these will last a little bit longer hitting nails. You still want to be careful anytime you have a sharp blade or bit or anything like that. Like make sure you look at what you're trying to drill through beforehand. Like go in front of it and go behind it. Just make sure there's no nails. It'll help you out a lot longer. Trying to keep these things sharp is a really, really good idea. Um, when I was a helper, I used to burn through all my journeyman's blades and air bits and it just pissed them off. Uh, so I had to kind of learn like how to just be more aware of that. And that goes for anything. If you have a whole hog blade like a brand or a bit a brand new $45 bit make sure that you take care of that thing you're not dropping it around everywhere you're not dulling it because any little tiny nicks in these things dramatically changes the ability for it to cut through material so what I want to do is I want to put a few of these in uh, into a regular drill show you how they get through material and then I want to throw it into an impact because a lot of people are starting to use impact drivers for driving holes and it's nowhere near as efficient but if you're in a pinch it is possible but I just want to show you uh, kind of the difference between the two drills and how these things perform with each. All right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same three bits and I'm going to record with two different drills. So I've got a quarter inch which is super tiny. I've got an 11 16 which I normally don't use but it's right around the same size as a three quarter um, and then I'm going to do an inch and a quarter so you can see how each one drills, if it drills fast or slow or, or what it does. Um, so I'm going to start off with a regular drill and we're going to go quarter inch. Same thing with the impact.
but as you can see, uh, these do a really good job of um, drilling a hole and removing the material. They go through very fast, very efficiently. They don't overheat. Um, so you can get a lot of holes out of these. Just take care of them. That's the only thing is, again, for apprentices out there watching this, if you're, especially if you're gonna use your journeyman's or your master's set of these, take care of them. Don't drop them, don't you know, go through a whole bunch of nails because you will screw them up. Um, but I'm really happy with them. These are all I use. I've tried many other brands and I stand behind this brand, absolutely. So uh, Bosch, there's a whole set of 12 of them. They call them spade bits, we call them paddle bits, but either way, go out and get you some. They're badass. There's a link in the description below too if you wanna just go to a link and buy them online and have them sent to you. But I love you guys. See you in the next tour review. All right, so as you can see, these do a very, very good job of removing material, of driving through the hole. <laughs> um, so I would recommend, <laughs> fuck. So as you can see, these do a really, really good job of. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, uh... <laughs>